Alright, so in this video we're going to be talking about solving absolute value inequalities. And before we start this video, we need to know the following. And that's this. If our absolute value is greater than or equal to, or greater than, okay, we're going to use or. Meaning, it's going to be a disjunction. So this is the separator we're going to use. Okay? If our absolute value is less than or equal to, or less than, then it's going to be a conjunction, meaning we're going to use and as our separator, okay? So if we look at the example that we're given, your first step whenever solving these absolute value inequalities is to make sure that you isolate the absolute value. Now in this first example, okay, we don't have to do anything because the absolute value is already isolated for us, all right? So at this point, this is where you look at your inequality. And notice that our absolute value is greater than or equal to. So in this case, it's going to be a disjunction, okay? Meaning we're gonna use or as our separator, okay? So once you figure that out, you're gonna go ahead and write out two different inequalities. The first one you're gonna write as is, so exactly as you see it. So two x plus three, greater than or equal to five. Now notice that I did drop the absolute value bars, okay? And now you're gonna write a second inequality. So you're gonna write exactly what you see inside the absolute value bars, two x plus three. And at this point, all you're gonna do is flip the inequality and then change the sign, which is gonna be negative five now. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to solve both of these inequalities and that's going to give us our answer and then we can go ahead and graph it, okay, on the number line. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to minus 3 on both sides on this one. So we get 2x is greater than or equal to, this will give us 2, divide by 2, x is greater than or equal to 1, okay? Let's go ahead and solve this one, so minus 3, minus 3. Okay, that cancels, so we get 2x less than or equal to negative 8. Okay, let's divide by 2. So x is less than or equal to negative 4. Now remember, our separator here, it's going to be 4. So we're going to go ahead now and just graph this on the number line. Okay, we'll just put 0 here. This will be negative 4. This will be 1. So on one, it's going to be a closed circle. On negative four, closed circle. Okay, again, remember it is or, so in this case, x has to be less than or equal to negative four. Okay, so we're gonna be shading in this direction. Or x has to be greater than or equal to one. So we'd be shading in this direction. Okay, and if you want, you can actually write your solution below like this. You could have x, less than or equal to negative four, or x greater than or equal to one, okay? So there we are. All right, let's try another example. Okay, so here's our next example. So as always, our first step is we wanna isolate the absolute value, meaning I wanna isolate this part right here. I have to get rid of this two. Notice it is multiplication, so we're gonna divide both sides by two. Doing that, you're going to get the following. You get the absolute value of x plus 5, okay? And we get less than or equal to, this will give us 5, right? Because 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now that we have the absolute value isolated, we look at our inequality. Notice, in this case, the absolute value is less than or equal to, okay? So in our case here, our separator, we're going to use and, meaning it's going to be a conjunction. Right, so in this case, we're gonna use and as our separator, okay? So we can go ahead and write out our two different inequalities now. So we're gonna write it as x plus five, less than or equal to five. And then our second one is gonna be x plus five. Again, flip the inequality and change the sign. So let's go ahead and solve both of these. So we're gonna minus five on both sides. This cancels, we get x is gonna be less than or equal to zero. Okay, doing this one, minus five on both sides. This cancels, we get x is greater than or equal to negative 10. Okay, 
So at this point, we can go ahead and graph this on a number line. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doing it by hand. So this is zero. We'll say that this is negative 10. So on zero, it's a closed circle. On negative 10, it's also a closed circle. Now remember, it is a conjunction, meaning we're using and. So in this case, x has to be less than or equal to zero, and x has to be greater than or equal to negative 10. All right, so essentially what we're doing is we're shading inside here like this, right? If you wanna draw two arrows going up like that, you can do this as well, okay? We're shading inside. So if you wanna write your final solution, you could actually write it like this. Since it is a conjunction, we can write it the following way. We'll have negative 10, then we'll have x, and then we'll have zero, and then just putting in our inequalities, right? x has to be greater than or equal to negative 10, and x has to be less than or equal to zero. Here it is, right here. Okay, all right, let's try one more example. Okay, so here is our last example. So as always, our first step, we wanna isolate the absolute value. So in this case, I need to get rid of this negative five. Notice that it is multiplication. So in this case, I'm gonna divide both sides by negative five. Now remember your rules when you're dealing with inequalities. If you divide or multiply by a negative, you need to flip the inequality. So when I divide both sides here by negative five, I'm gonna be left with the following. I get the absolute value of two x, plus two, I need to flip the inequality, and this is going to give me negative two, right? 10 divided by negative five is negative two, okay? So don't forget that step, that's very important, okay? Now we can look at our inequality and determine if it's going to be a conjunction or disjunction. And looking at it, the absolute value is isolated, and notice it is less than, right? So in this case, we're using a conjunction, or in other words, we're using and, as our separator, okay? So now that we have that figured out, we can go ahead and write our two separate inequalities. So let's do that. So we get two x plus two less than negative two, okay? And then we're gonna get two x plus two. This is where we flip the inequality, change the sign. So now it's positive two. Okay, so let's solve both of these. So we minus two on both sides we get two x is less than negative four, right? Divide both sides by two and you get x is going to be less than negative two, all right? Let's do this one, minus two on both sides. This cancels, we get two x is greater than, this is gonna give us zero. So this one's pretty easy. We're gonna divide both sides by two, so x is greater than zero. Let's go ahead and put this on a number line now. Now remember it is and, meaning it is a conjunction, meaning it has to be this and also this, okay? So putting this on, here is zero, here is negative two. On zero, it's gonna be an open circle, negative two, open circle as well, right? So think about that statement that doesn't make logical sense. How can X be greater than zero and also be less than negative two, okay? That's not possible. So in this case, this is going to be no solution, okay? No solution, all right? So again, it is a conjunction, so it has to be, in this case, greater than zero, and it also has to be less than negative two, okay? That's not possible. So again, in this case, it's going to be no solution, all right? So that is solving absolute value inequalities.